pauper's daughter? I heard something over here! No! This back alley can't be my end. You! Child! A strange noble passed through here, didn't he? Tell me where he went! Okay, he went over there. And hid behind the horse cart. The coward! After him! He should still be nearby! What? what They're gone now. Indeed. You saved me. Nah. I just wanted to annoy them. Still, I'm glad. So, tell me your name. Amy. Amy. <laughs> Amy. You're silly. Why cry when you're safe? The streets of the French colonial empire ran red with blood as nobles waged their ceaseless feuds. But such power and politics were far removed from a young girl who knew only the slums of ruin. Growing up surrounded by crime, depravity, and violence, she learned at a young age how to look out for herself and survive. She built walls around herself until her world consisted of nothing more than a single chair. That is, until one fateful day. There. Now I can eat for a few days at least. Check it out. Red's wandering around on her own again. Ugh, that girl. It pisses me off how she ignores us. Relax, she'll turn up face down in a gutter soon enough. What do you say to a little wager on when that'll be? <laughs> Sounds fun. You're on. Always the same scum everywhere. It's not like I'm alive because I want to be. Soldiers. They're armed. Three, four, hmm? There's someone over here. Soldiers always act so high and mighty and annoying. No reason to help such self-important buffoons. Uh, my name? I'm Red. Wait, Raphael. That's what he called himself. I don't know why I decided to go with him, but I did. It was pure chance I was there when those soldiers came, and I only lied to annoy them. And yet... Raphael wanted to give me a better future, but hope only leads to disappointment. I've learned that by now. <sighs> That's enough for today. You've become far more skilled than I ever imagined. Amy, you've a natural talent, not just for the sword, but for the battle. And yet, you still hold back. Agility. Awareness. Intuition. These are your strengths. However... You still favor your left leg, albeit unconsciously, and this limits your movements. You must come to grips with that incurable wound of yours. <sighs> and you've one other great fault. Care to know what it is? I'm all ears. Let's hear it. You forget you are my daughter here. You should refer to me as father or lord. It is unseemly for a noble to disrespect her father. Dummy. Never mind. <sighs> Very well. A lesson for another time, perhaps. Now I must be off to patrol the region and speak to some indolent wolf catchers. I would hate to displease our master of the moment, Lord Dumas. I presume you can return to the mansion on your own. You needn't worry. As long as we're hiding out here, we should be safe from the Bird of Passage's assassins. It doesn't really matter to me where we are. My weakness. My injury. That day. Don't be foolish. Stealing the Holy Stone? You must know the truth by now. The Aval organization has betrayed the Lady of the Lake. It's Lord Dumas. But who's the other guy? How do you know of that? <laughs> Your knowledge of their betrayal is why you left them, is it not? You are a devious man, Lord Dumas. If there was someone you wished me to meet, you should have just said so. What nonsense do you speak now? Wouldn't you agree? Do you always lurk behind doors and eavesdrop, young lady? Uh, Amy, is that you? My apologies, Lord Aswell. This young noblewoman is a guest staying in my hall. She is still new here and must have gotten lost. <laughs> I'd expect nothing less, Lord Dumas. You are trying to test me. The light of emotion burns dim in her. Her caution rivals that of beasts, and she does not hide her fangs. This girl is no noble woman. She isn't. But then... Ah, oh, wisdom dimmed by age is a beautiful, exquisitely human sight. My business here is finished. My thanks in advance for your support of the qualifiers, Lord Dumas. Thank you, little lady. You have made this visit a delight. Those who seek stasis must never cease their step. Cover yourself with the veil of refinement, young lady. Or perhaps I should say... Young Amy. Three years have passed since Lord Dumas left his fortress city in the south of France on a pilgrimage. 
Raphael, having been named Lord Dumas's heir, officially adopted Amy as his daughter. Amy spent her days receiving a noblewoman's education while further honing her unparalleled skill with a sword. However, it was unlikely she would ever use those skills in actual combat, or it would have been, had her keen eyes and cautious nature not caught wind of the danger threatening her land. I'm impressed. The other birds of passage were more talkative. <laughs> Damn it! How much do you know? I know your plot against this land's lord. First, you capture his daughter and hold her hostage. Then you steal his wealth, give him a sky burial, and plant fear in the hearts of his people. <laughs> Those cowardly fools. But you still don't know everything, brat. Then why don't we see if I can loosen your tongue? <laughs> Stupid brat! I was just buying time for our main forces to get here. Positions and terrain. Both fine. Five of them. No backup. You think we'll capture you alive? <laughs> it's a sky burial for you. We'll flay your skin and pluck out your eyes, then send your defiled corpse to your father. Finally, you're all here. Huh? Hunting down the wolves of these forests is my father's job, but I'm happy to dispose of a few unwelcome birds. <sighs> Milady! Malus, you're late. My sincerest apologies, but that's not the issue here. Why must you insist on putting yourself in danger? And what happened here? Bird of passage assassins. I doubt they can still move. But be careful. These louts have caused trouble time and again in town. To think they would dare violate the very lands of Lord Dumas's estate. <sighs> For Milady to have uncovered and foiled whatever dark deeds they plotted is proof of your extraordinary talents. But please, no matter how skilled you may be, do not go to battle alone. Without a proper escort, you will find yourself in dire straits one day. And more importantly, I'm sure our young lord worries about you. Malus, a butterfly learns it can fly when it leaves its chrysalis. So, what about a bird? Uh, when it leaves its nest? When it flies. Raphael's probably worried. I'll go home now. Milady, you must learn to refer to the young master with more respect. Such an incorrigible girl. <sighs> well... I must clean this awful mess up. Those who seek stasis must never cease their step. Malus, where is the key to the annex? I'm sorry, milady. I know where it is, but I cannot tell you. None may enter the library unless a problem has arisen. That is the rule. And you think this isn't a problem? It is true. He does nothing but deal with dubious folks and broods over strange works all day. If he were his old self, these acts would be unthinkable. But I trust him. He must have a good cause. I see. In that case, how many fingers must I lose before it becomes a problem? Milady, do not jest. Still, your point is made. I shall trust your intuition. Here is what I propose. Raphael. Amy, what are you doing here? I trust there is a problem that demands my attention. I came to change the roses. It would be a problem if nobles such as us let our flowers rot. <laughs> It seems finding a shrewd maid to attend you was worth the trouble. I also brought you some hot chocolate. Here. I suppose I have given you both cause to worry. But I ask you wait just a while longer. Soon, I shall have a way to create for you that shining world I promised. Raphael, I'm happy with the way things are now. Fine. But can I visit you here again? Please understand, Amy. I need focus to finish this as quickly as possible. But, very well. Will you come to change the flowers again? Bring roses, bright and beautiful red, to remind me of your hair. What I want is, it was only coincidence that I saved him. Which means me being here is also... Who's there? <sighs> hmm? Over there, presence is gone. And they didn't leave any traces. But I know someone was watching me. It's been a long time since we trained together, Amy. I shall stay until you are satisfied, since we won't meet again for quite some time. This journey, you'll be gone long? Yes. However, my destination is clear, as is the home to which I will return. I shall finally fulfill the promise I made the day you injured your leg. <sighs> Do you remember your other promise? Of course. The fate of that promise is still in your hands, as it has been since the day we first trained together. Good. Then today? I will prove myself. Uh, what? Checkmate. Indeed. Very impressive, Amy. I was sure you had yet to overcome your habit of favoring your left leg. But I was wrong. 
You shorten your step, weakening your strikes while allowing you to quickly transition to your next move. A stunning adaption of La Rapière de Sorel. Very well. I acknowledge you as a true swordswoman. What is your wish? Well, what I want... I... Hurry back as fast as you can. I'll make my request then. <laughs> Are you sure that returning as fast as I can is not your true desire? Very well. I shall take those words as a command from my one and only queen. I, Raphael Sorel, swear it upon my life. I look forward to hearing the request you come up with. I also have something for you. Will you accept it? What's this? Albion, the Radiant One. I sent word to various contacts in spare moments during my research to have it made especially for you. It is a difficult blade to wield, but I'm sure you have the skill to master it. I hope the bond between us is never severed, Amy. Even when I am gone, this sword will keep us linked. I truly believe that. <sighs> Checkmate. Oh, a stunning victory, milady. Despite a number of blunders, a solid strategy saw you through. Still, it is unusual for you to take so long to make your moves. Malus, have you ever held back against me? If I may be frank, yes. On several occasions, but all long ago. Oh, that's fine then. You have a habit of bottling up your feelings, milady. You may find that voicing your thoughts will lessen their burden. If it is the young master you are worried about, I've no doubt he will return safely. Perhaps he has gone to fetch the perpetually delayed old master. <laughs> now, it is late. I must prepare your bed. While I do, perhaps he would like to step outside and commune with the cool night breeze. <sighs> Ever since that day, it feels like my emotions are somewhere else. Voicing my thoughts will lessen their burden? <sighs> I don't know. I hurt. Raphael, don't leave me. What? Is that what I truly feel? My wish. The thing I want from him. I was lying to myself. This feeling. <sighs> this time they left a trail. On purpose as if inviting me to follow. Is that a light in the library? <sighs> I know you're there. It has been ages, young Amy. Although, I'm not sure you even remember me. I am the scholar of the future, and your dear Raffi is my comrade. As well. Why are you here? <laughs> what a wonderful memory. With that mind, you can surely guess why I came. I'm here to recover the items I sent to Lord Dumas. Nothing more. Now that my comrade Raphael has left the nest, there is no longer need for them here. I hear pain makes people talk. I hardly recognize you from the girl I met so long ago. Bravo! Marvelous! Fantastico! You know, I maintained a small interest in you. Not only are you the source of my dear Raphael's desperate drive, but I hear intriguing rumors about you. Their eyes are glowing red. Now, young Amy, show me what it is that keeps your feet rooted in this place. And that's the last one. I used some of the better filth at my disposal. And yet you bested them with ease. I had heard your intuition was sharp, but that does you an injustice. It is almost as if you can predict the future. <laughs> I believe you will make an excellent match. What are you scheming? What lunacy did you fill Raphael's head with? <laughs> Very well. You've passed my test. As a reward, I shall spill the little secret Comrade Raphael and I share. If Raphael's plan succeeds, this world of strife shall meet its end. It would be but a simple task with the power of the cursed sword in his hands. <sighs> I understand your suspicion, so let me tell you one more thing. Those monsters you fought, the mindless scum no better than beasts, they are the malfested. Those who gained but a small fraction of the cursed sword's power. Malfested? From the cursed sword? Raphael is brilliant, and his skill with the sword is marvelous, but his crowning glory is his madness. 
That is the true key to obtaining the cursed sword, and I'm sure he will do it. Now answer me this, young Amy. What will you do if Raphael's mind is lost and he becomes a monster? What's that supposed to mean? It's an ironic twist of fate that those with the abilities to reach Soul Edge are most vulnerable to it. They either end up its meal or its marionette. It follows that your precious father will likely become a ghastly malfested. Huh? Oh, my sincerest apologies. He is not your father, is he? Nor is he someone important to you, just a man you're with by chance. Correct. Such cruelty! And here I was, willing to do so much for Raphael, thinking you cared for each other. If those who strive to lay the foundation of humanity's next step forward are not bound together by their passion, what meaning does any of it have? Or have I misunderstood? Tell me, young Amy. No, I misunderstood. Trying to get you to talk. You already talk plenty. I should have been trying to make you quiet. <laughs> what a lovely color. You were once little more than a living doll, but now you are so very human. What a perfect subject. What a dramatic change. You wish me silenced. You wish to save Raphael. Then you'll need to impale me on that sword of yours. Come, young lady, show me your resolve. Show me your soul! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? I thought you wanted to silence me. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <sighs> what was that light? <sighs> what is this? My, my. You can still move so well after the orb's power affected you? You really are something. You never let down your guard to your surroundings. However, ah! no matter how acute your perception, you cannot predict the impossible, can you? How? You shouldn't be so careless, young Amy. You hesitated before striking the final blow. When you're angry, your left leg leaves you open. It's so delightfully human of you. Unfortunately... From now on, I shall make you my little doll. <laughs> oh, it won't be all bad. <laughs> I have nothing left. Life is but a series of betrayals. No, this back alley can't be my end. I'm in ruined slums? Check it out. Red's wandering around on her own again. A loathsome brat. She took everything from us. I'm gonna feast on her torn flesh. Nothing less will satisfy my fury! You must know the things you've done! You deserve this! What's going on here? Soldiers? Four of them. With spears. <gasps> These footsteps. They're- Raphael! None shall give me a second glance if I look like this. Raphael! Can't you hear me? Raphael! This way! Over here! The footsteps lead here! A surprisingly stupid move for him! Surround the alleyway! Search everywhere! Yes, sir! Wait! No! There he is! Kill him if he resists! So this is where it ends. Death to traitors! Oh, I die in disgrace. Alone, without so much as a name on my lips. Fate, I curse thee! Raphael, why did I shout his name? I still don't even understand why I decided to follow him. It was mere chance that I saved his life. Nothing more. But from that moment on, Raphael was always there for me, providing me with the future. Hope only brings disappointment. I know this, and yet... The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. Raphael... Milady, thank goodness. <sighs> Malus, I... Then you found me unconscious outside. Yes, I thought for sure you'd gone and put yourself in danger again. But there was no sign of anything amiss when I found you. <gasps> Where's Raphael? Calm yourself, Milady. The young master left just the other day. It's not good for your constitution to sulk so much over his absence. Right. Raphael's away. Traveling. Hmm? He's searching for something. And something bad's going to happen. I just know it, but I can't remember what. 
Some of my memories are gone. The young master is sure to be back. I believe it's his wish that you remain here and wait patiently for his return. Yes, but those who seek stasis must never cease their step. I couldn't remember who it was that first spoke the words that flashed into my mind. As I said them to myself, I was filled with a powerful sense of revulsion. Still, they somehow resonated with me. Malus, my sword. Also, pack my things. I'm heading out. No, milady, is what I'd like to say, but I expected this. There are two conditions. First, you must take me with you. And second, you must find a skilled guard to escort you. And if I refuse? Well, perhaps I'll chop off a finger each time you resist. That's unfair. But I'm glad. Something has changed in you, milady. Take it. It is your sword. Albion, I swear upon the sword that binds us, I'll live so as not to lose. No matter how dark the road I must travel, this sword will light my way. Albion, the Radiant One, his hope, his dream, and mine.